Today I'm going to be reading from Seymour Simon's Extreme Earth Records. And the book has many different sections. And the many different sections are, some of them are, the hottest place on earth, the rainiest place on earth, the highest waterfall and steepest drops on earth, the biggest earthquake on earth. I can't read all of them because they're way too many, but I'm gonna be starting off with one of them that I think you will like, and it's the coldest place on earth. When you step off the plane onto the rocky ice, you will immediately struggle with challenges that will last anywhere from one to eight weeks as you acclimate yourself to the coldest place on earth, Vostok Research Station in Antarctica. During this time, you will suffer from pounding headaches, painful earaches, and constant nosebleeds. Your eyes twitch and you vomit a lot. You find yourself short of breath and feel as if you're suffocating due to the lack of oxygen. You can't sleep because of all your discomforts. Your blood pressure rises and you have painful cramps in your arms and legs. Vostok Station is a lonely, wind-blown outpost 620 miles from the South Pole. It holds the record for the lowest recorded temperature on Earth. You want to know what that is? It's minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That's minus. Recorded in July 1983. Twice a year, tractor train, which is a train of tractor trucks, expedition take as long as a month to crawl dangerously over the cracked icy landscape carrying food and supplies to about a dozen Russian, American, and French scientists who live there conducting a variety of experiments. Scientists are drilling down through thick layers of ice beneath Vostok Research Station, the coldest place on Earth. The spinning drills have reached down to gigantic Lake Vostok, which lies more than two miles deep inside the icy glacier. The core of ice removed from the drilling dates back more than 420 thousand years ago, a time when saber-toothed tigers and woolly mammoths roamed the earth. Here's a picture of Vostok Research Station. The drilling stops just short of the waters in the lake because scientists are trying to keep the lake waters uncontaminated. Of course, it is not always that cold in Vostok, but it is always very cold. The high temperature, even in the warmer months of the Antarctic summer, is often a bone chilly minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. There is no sign of animal life outside the station, except for the occasional school bird it's too cold for living things in the South Pole of cold. <laughs>